Alright everyone, another Thursday and we're back. Please don't be by Fury Blade. Ooh, okay, okay. This may be difficult. Because it's by someone else. So this is this is someone else's take on an Odyssey. Oh god. <sighs> just just we need to mentally prepare, alright, alright? Let's just 44 lives. Definitely something to do with 44, so we're playing 4 to 44 by contraptions. That doesn't sound like a good name. Bad things come in fours. Hopefully not. Well, we already know that's bullshit. Oh, fuck. Yep, you can tell this is made by a player, and not by Ninja Kiwi. Look at those maps. You rarely see those. In fact, I don't think we've ever seen Ouch in an Odyssey. Not, not in a weekly one. Anyway, that's interesting. Let's... At least it's not extreme mode. But let's see what we're getting ourselves into. How the fuck are we gonna do ouch with 40... F well, I mean, we're gonna have to really keep our lives if these uh, aren't in our favor. All right. Oh boy. Why do I feel like there's just gonna be progressively more and more modifiers with fours in it? Anyway, that's just my guess. Winter Park hard stand 4 to 44. Very chill. I like that. That's cool. That's fine. Depends on the heroes and the modifications and the restrictions and stuff, but that's a chill map with a not-so-crazy modifier, hopefully, we'll find out, and we're only going to 44. I'm assuming that if a map is- if an Odyssey is made by a person that isn't Ninja Kiwi, then they can't put custom rounds in, right? That's what I'm assuming. Okay. Four circles. Hard standard, 4 to 44. All camo, Moab health increased, ceramic health increased, but Four Circles is a very chill map. This map, on the other hand, is a pain in the ass. Luckily, it's only to 44. Yep, I was afraid of this. Oh, deflation. Okay, okay. I like this. Thank you. Thank you, Contraptions. Contraptions knows that this is a piece of shit map. And so deflation, only to 44 as usual. Interesting amount of money. It's uh, it's fairly on the on the light side of things, but they've also, in turn, nerfed the balloons. Nerfed them. Fury Blade didn't understand that. Fury Blade just went difficult, 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 difficult. But no, I appreciate this. Okay, contraptions, you're you're good in my books for now. I don't know how hard deflation will be with four thousand bucks, but we'll see. Uh, spillway alternate balloons round. Ooh, still 4 to 44, and the regrow rate is decreased, and the removal rate. You know what? Contraptions knows how to make a fucking Odyssey right here. An, an, an Odyssey for the average player. I'm not saying casual player, I'm saying average player. You know, taking a bit of the hardcore people, taking a bit of the no monkey knowledge people, and just sort of finding a nice little middle ground. This is, this is kind. This is actually kind. I'm hoping it continues on to hashtag ouch. Oh! You beautiful son of a bitch contraptions. Alright, this isn't gonna be too bad. Slower Moabs. Ouch. Reverse. No other modifiers. Okay, okay. Ninja Kiwi? Contraptions is your person. That, that's that's your new Odyssey person right there. As well as uh, BF10. BF10 was good. Fury Blade, throw them in like every year or two. Okay, what have, what have we got? I can't be complimenting it too much before I look at all the modifications and stuff. Okay, and we do have quite a few. Who are we? Ooh, free range. I can appreciate that. Um, 424? Uh, 424-424-424-424. All the way down? All the way down. Cool. Well, that means Ninja Alk is still an amazing combo, so we're not leaving that. Um, let's just see. We're not going to choose a hero just yet, we'll choose the hero last. Right, so we have water on every map, that's that's a fact. Removal rates on Spillway being free is insane, because the removal costs is usually 2,000 a piece. And there's four things to remove, which is very kind. Uh, all camo, Ninja can handle that. Um, okay, so I think we're mainly just looking at these two maps now. What towers do we want for hashtag ouch and Spillway? I think I want a sniper for spillway, smack him right in the middle. If I can... Yeah, okay, not bad, not bad. Oh! Okay, that's where the difficulty comes in. You're only allowed four towers. That... 
changes things. Okay, okay, so Contraptions has made nice maps and nice game modes, but difficult monkey choices and potentially difficult hero choices. I like that, I appreciate that. Alternate Bloons Round does have camo lead, so we need something to deal with that. Which one was Alternate Bloons Round? Spillway. Spillway, so maybe not a sniper. Maybe, I don't think a wizard can fit in the middle, but a wizard is still an idea, like a good choice. Uh, who else can fit in the middle and can pop camo leads easily? See, that's the thing, I was thinking ice, but then I'd need at least cryo cannon to reach around the outsides because it's a small radius. Um, who here can camo lead pretty quickly and easily? Boat. Boat's not a bad idea. Do I want this? Is this going to be my team, plus whoever I pick? Hmm. I'm tempted to pick Sorter, to be honest, but I do believe Quincy might be our guy. Just because, once again, everybody's got Quincy. So, it makes sense. And I don't, I don't know how true this is. I might be regretting saying this later, but I'm thinking this won't be too bad. Honestly, if we had Sorta on Rake with medium deflation, I don't think it would ever be an issue. Like, I don't think there's any way in hell that you could lose that. Because everything's already nerfed down, and if you just put Sorta in, like, pretty much where the tip of my cursor is right now, or, like, up here, you'd probably win. Or if the removal rate's that cheap, just remove that, put Sorta there, done. You know? sort of could most likely carry if the balloon speed and mob speed is that slow. Um, as for alternate balloon round though, sort of wouldn't do very well in the middle of the map. Everything's regrow. Okay. See, that makes me want to pick a cannon. So maybe... that? And then the ninja can deal with the camos, the boat can deal with the camos, uh... Alk and Bomb Shooter can just be our lead popping power and global popping power. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I'm just looking at the maps and making sure there's no maps where I'd regret my decisions here. Um, it will be a tricky start on hashtag ouch. That's just a fact. It, it doesn't matter what I pick. It's going to be a tricky start. And let me just make sure I'm, I'm not fucking this up, right? Four max, four seats. Okay, cool. I wouldn't want to go in underprepared, but you know what? Let's gun it. It's official. That's what I'm going for. Ha, <laughs> get it, four. Uh, anyway. I like it, I like it. Cyber Quincy, for a second I saw Cyber Quincy and I was like, oh shit, I've got monkey knowledge on. No, no I don't. Cyber Quincy does not, <laughs> is not viable with monkey knowledge. Uh, anyway. Let's, well, I mean, I think I already know the answer to this, but how well does Cyber Quincy do on round four in this specific position? We will see, because the balloons are sped up. So, you know, I don't have high hopes already. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Cool. Honestly, maybe if Quincy was in the middle, stand a bit more of a chance, but, uh, yeah, not a fan of those odds. Um... How about a ninja? How does a ninja do? I don't expect it to be better, but I think ninja attacks faster. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's try Quincy here, just to see, you know? It could make all the difference, honestly. If you can put Quincy in a good enough spot, round four can be beaten just by a level one Quincy. So let's see how you do here. Not bad. Okay, kind of bad. Ten lives is a lot to take out. Let's just go with a boat in a very good spot. Like there. I would say. That way he's got a clean shot straight down. Pierce is amazing. And look at that range. Straight off the bat, that range. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to appreciate my boat choice a few times in this Odyssey. Just a few. Please, and, oh, you know what? Oh, I feel like we can do better. I feel like we can do better. Is that weird? Is that wrong? Is that wrong for me wanting to do better? Let's put you on last. And then we'll swap you to first when things get past you. Like, right when the blues show up, pretty much. 
All right, put you back on first now, just because, let's face it, the blues are the real problem here. And the fact that you're missing doesn't help. But to be fair, I put all my money on you being good on this side of the map, not that side. Ugh. Okay, no, never mind. I'm overthinking it. I am overthinking it. Just put you there, leave you on first, you do whatever you want. I think that's the plan. How the fuck is this done better? <laughs> Honestly. So good! What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, you know what? Fine, I'll take it. You know why? Because it's a win. I can pretend I orchestrated it later on anyway. Oh, that's just funny to me. That's pretty funny. Okay, missed that one, that's fine. 42, it's uh, it's the answer to life, the universe and everything, so never mind, not anymore. Okay, so that's an issue. If we don't attack like dead on when that first uh, blue wraps around that corner, we uh, guarantee a life loss pretty much. Why can't the boat just sense that there's enemies over here and just double shot it, you know? Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing a pattern here. Great on its own. Brilliant on its own. There's a nice little zero, zero, zero. But, I think we're going to need an upgrade. Otherwise, we're just going to keep trickling lives through until the end of this round, and I don't like that. So, a little bit faster shooting never hurt anyone. Except for the balloons, but that's fine by me. Oh, come on, really? I give you faster shooting and you give me that. All right, faster shooting, put them on last. Surely. Just drill down that line. Absolutely destroy it. Thank you. Yep, keep it going. Yeah, and then the, in the little in the little grace period here, swap it back to first. Okay, you just timed that poorly, but that's fine. Forty lives. That's all we need. That's all we need. Oh, I feel like my standards are lowering. Every second I play this this map right here, my standards are just dropping further and further, and that green just strolled through, honestly. Okay. New plan. New plan. Actually, you know what? Completely new plan. Fuck this. Actually, not, not entirely fuck this, but you'll see what I mean soon. Hopefully we stick with the idea of not losing many lives on round four. And... No, that's the same amount of lives I just quit on. <laughs> you can't do that. Right. We will get this though, don't worry, don't worry. I've got a, I've got a plan. It's new and improved. Never been done before, except maybe once by me on Adora's Temple. Definitely. Uh, yeah, there's there's no maybe about it. It definitely happened. Okay, you know what? I'll take 41. I'll take it. Right. And then we do a little bit of magic trickery. Whoops. Ah, oh, Quincy. Welcome back. <laughs> now, it's not because I didn't like the boat. I loved the boat. However, the boat seem to be struggling a little and beyond round four Quincy at level one actually doesn't struggle as much as you would think so swapped out swapped out just a little bit so if we can get through this round oh beautiful beautiful absolutely beautiful we can get our boat back see priorities people priorities place your boat, you sell your boat the very next round, you think you wouldn't be making a lot of profit on it, but because it's early and that extra hundred bucks at the end of the round is a very nice paycheck, you can get away with it pretty damn easily. Now this would be interesting to try and do as a uh, as an extreme mode odyssey. Obviously you'd need more towers, but if you could somehow manage it with just a hero and like five towers maybe? Five towers? That'd be interesting. I'd be down to clown with someone that would make a map like that. Anyway. Oh, actually, I was discussing this on stream. I found out what I don't like about uh, 
first of all, challenges, and second of all, custom odysseys made by people, right? Uh, not, not to say anything wrong about the odysseys that have been made, Fury Blade went a little bit too far on the, the, the crazy advanced player sort of level of difficulty. Um, but no, that's in the past now. What's done is done. We've gotten through it. We'll forget about it, right? But uh, what I what I hate about custom challenges, and this sort of segues into why I don't like custom odysseys, uh, is because typically when someone makes a custom challenge, and supposedly in quotations here, uh, the best, definitely in quotations, heavily in quotations, um, the best sort of challenges and level of difficulty uh, often come with only one solution. However, the problem I have is that it comes with one solution, but it's covered in a field of potential solutions. Now, this is why I don't mind it being in an Odyssey, in a in a custom challenge on its own. Because it's like, hey, that's that's what the custom challenge is for. You're meant to try and find the solution, try and find the right one, see what works. You know, you might be baited out by things that could work, but you you gotta tr test them out. You know, fail a couple of times, and you'll eventually get to the the right solution, right? That I'm fine with. It's when the people that can make those types of challenges then decide to make five of them in a row, in an odyssey, and then they make it extreme mode, right? Could you imagine how painful that is? Not only do you have a sea of bullshit to pick from at the start of the Odyssey and hope, hope that it can get you through the rounds that you think it will, right? But you also have to do that for four other maps. That to me is just insane. Why, why would... Why would you do that to someone? That that almost seems torturous to an extent. Like, I don't know. I don't I don't get it. I don't see why people enjoy that type of thing. Like in a in a solo custom challenge of its own, where there's one solution and only one solution, among a sea of potential solutions, yeah. I mean, it could be a bit of fun testing things out, you know, being like, oh, surely this works, and then to your surprise, it doesn't. Um but having to do that five times in a row, I guarantee most of the most of the custom odysseys that are built that way, that have at least five levels, like 99% of players just go, ew, no, and then move on. <laughs> like, uh, I get it that it's great to sort of uh, throw it at people that um, do particularly love those types of challenges, but that is a very niche audience. Like, I get it, if you're trying to appeal to someone like ISAB, you know, and, and try and get his, his big brain working on the solution and uh, see if they can sort of figure it out. But, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're trying to make something that's, that's, you know, popular and enjoyed by many, I wouldn't recommend going for that. I'd recommend a challenge where, basically, you don't have to do anything and you still win, because I swear, that is the only challenge I consistently see on the trending page if you go into the, the challenge browser or whatever it is. You go on the trending page, like 99% of the front page, actually no, I'd say like 95% of the front page is just some sort of bullshit title, it doesn't matter what it is, it, most of the time it'll be some sort of clickbait, but on top of that, you'll see the win rate percentage and it'll be like 99% of players, and you'll be like, oh, I wonder if this is a challenge where literally doing nothing works. And oftentimes it is, and that saddens me, because people win a challenge and they think, haha, I did it. Upvote, put on the trending page, you know, and then, wait, what, what's happening on this one? Increased ceramic and mob health, all camo, yeah, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, then all over the trending pages, just suddenly... Fucking the easiest challenges in the world. Now, I'm not saying flood the game with medium challenges only, That that's ridiculous. But it's a shame that the trending page is literally all just the same challenge half the time. <laughs> uh, 
But you know what? I'm, I'm not one to talk. I can't talk about this because I, I personally don't create challenges. I don't know how difficult it is. I did attempt to make a challenge uh, that sort of only had one solution. But uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't go well for me because essentially I, I finished it and I was just like, yeah, there's only one way people can beat this, but I didn't test my challenge all that much. And so people found many ways when I revealed it, and I was I was a little embarrassed, I'm not gonna lie. But to be fair, I'm sure that's how most people start off. You know, you uh You gotta start somewhere and then work out the kinks as you go. And getting other people's feedback is one of the best ways to do that. So you know what? I don't know shit about challenge editing. I, I just I just thought I'd say that. I don't know why. I don't know why. I it's I just went off on a tangent. That's my bad. I'll, uh, I'll shut up. <laughs> just any, anytime I say my opinion out loud, you know what? I'll, I'll just shut up. And sadly, Quincy's not going to do jack shit until he gets camera detection, but luckily, his leveling up isn't based on pops. <laughs> so he'll actually be able to get it eventually. Oh, but that's funny. But yeah, I do think we made a good choice here. And just solid early game, especially for the all camo round. Uh, boat solid early game on most maps with water. Let's let's be honest. Um, and uh, alchemist pairs up well with literally anything that's not another alchemist or a village. Let's let's face or banana farm. Because uh, let's face it, village. While it can make use of an alk buff, usually requires a bit of investing first. So, uh, probably, probably best not to pick a village for this Odyssey. <laughs> uh, wait, no, I don't even think you could. Yeah, no, could you imagine? Maybe I didn't look at the, uh, the monkey list properly, but could you imagine if you could pick village and banana farm? And you do. You pick village and banana farm and then you just... You just start the Odyssey. That, to me, is a bit crazy. Although, you know what I did miss out on? In, uh, in in choosing all my uh, all my characters here. Hey, there we go. Is that um, technically? Well, I guess it's not a fifth tier, but I personally make it equivalent to like a mini fifth tier. Um, technically, we could have gotten a spectre, which is is the spectre the most expensive fourth tier besides a super monkey. No, surely not. Maybe. Interesting, interesting. I'll have to figure that out later, but yeah, Spectre's pretty damn OP for just a, uh, a tier 4 tower. If I'm being completely honest, so... I completely skipped over that. And if you didn't already recognize the pattern of the upgrades allowed per... per monkey, essentially it was just 424. Right? So you're allowed four at the top, two in the middle, and four at the bottom. Four at the bottom happily includes the spectre. Alright, so apparently this is just all camo and then slightly beefier cerams, but honestly, because it's on this map, chill as hell. Absolutely chill as hell. Uh, but yes, yeah, so far good. So far good so, yes. So far good so. Mm, I feel like I'm slowly devolving into Yoda. Ooh, also, I've been tasked with watching the Star Wars movies. Now, admittedly, yes, I haven't seen them. And no, I didn't originally plan to, you know, I, it just didn't seem like something that intrigued me. However, uh, my brother has given me the task of, of watching them all before he comes over to Australia and has a holiday, which is going to be later on this year. So, I've now, I've now got to watch, what, like 10, 12 movies? Because it's, it's not just the originals, or the, the sequels to the originals, or the prequels to the sequels of the originals, which were the originals, I don't know. But essentially, I need to watch a bunch of Star Wars. So that'll be interesting, because I would never normally put myself through that. But it'll be cool, you know? I imagine there's hype around it for a pretty obvious reason. I just realized this boat's useless. Cool, cool. 
why did I why did I get that boat? Uh, I just blanked out for a split second. But um, yeah, so that's going to be an interesting little task I've got ahead of me. And honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to it. But at the same time, if I watch the first if I watch the first movie and decide, nah, this is shit, I'll probably think that about subsequent movies anyway. So uh, that'll be interesting. Why did I even place the bomb shooter? Anyway, holy shit, this Odyssey's gone by quickly. Like, goddamn, I've already done the first two maps. Uh, okay, well, that's gonna do it for part one here. Part two, as usual, comes out tomorrow. Uh, so stick around for that. And uh, we'll get on to the painful maps in this Odyssey. But luckily, they've lightened the load a little. So thank you, Contraptions. I appreciate the Odyssey thus far. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in part two tomorrow. If you need any more help, stick around till then. If not, go for it. Get those trophies, man. Or woman, get those trophies. Anyway, thanks again. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.